Maybe it's a drop step. Oh, man. That's Marty Foster. You don't see an umpire go down like that. See where it where it got him. It looked like it got him pretty good in the mask and then maybe the shoulder as well. Yeah, kind of that glancing blow off the mask right onto the shoulder type. And he's up now. This would be it. Yeah, it got him pretty good really in both spots. Well, you can see a little redness on the left cheek there, Marty Foster, and that's impact of the ball, the padding of the mask. See Brian Schulman out there, trainer for the athletics, just kind of having a conversation. And this is how they gauge, you know, the coherency. And you're just really trying to gather how Marty Foster is perceiving the world at this moment. Speech, eye contact. See Marty trying to clear the cobwebs. I'll just say if you're working a lower level and have that facial expression after an event like this, you should seriously consider coming out. Flat affect always concerns me. Perhaps oversensitive as someone who's experienced that at home plate and had to leave in an ambulance. But either way, your health is very important. And if you think about an umpiring crew and how much time they spend together and how closely they have to work together, they have to be a pretty tight group. Well, there, I, I mean, mean you, and you're sort of, it's sort of four guys against the world, too. Well, it surely is. I mean, they are. They're a brotherhood. So one guy goes down, you want to make sure your buddy's doing okay. And it looks like Marty Foster is going to stay in there, so that's great news. Well, what you'll see is, I think you'll probably see a couple pitches from Sandoval just give Marty Foster the opportunity to track a pitch or two. Scott Barry, the second base umpire, kind of double checking on his guy here just to make sure. Scott is the number two on this crew, and he is clearly very concerned, but defers to his chief. But when Marty gets hit a second time a little bit later, Scott's not going to wait for Marty's decision. I mean, that's the chief there, though, right, Marty? That's right. Yes, he is. Chief goes down. Guys want to make sure that your leader's okay. That one way in the dirt, and that hit Marty Foster. Brian Schumann immediately out again. The pitch was in the dirt, looked like maybe way out in front of home plate, and Murphy tried to block it. He just couldn't do it. And I think well, that's going to do it. Yeah. I, it I, looks like Scott Barry. I think it's Scott Barry who immediately headed into the in the umpire's locker room. And let's see where this got him. He bounced indeed in front of home plate, and then. Another direct shot right to the mask, and it is definitely time to get Marty Foster out of there. So let's keep our fingers crossed for Marty Foster and hope he's okay. He took two bad shots to the mask in the last last inning and now this inning. Just want to point out that's pitch four. Robo on has it as a strike. From the athletics will walk him into the locker room for the umpires. And we're going to step aside. He will not get that today. He is out of the game. So Scott Barry, who was the second base umpire, hustled in, did a good job, got the umpire's equipment that they wear when behind the dish, got it on quickly. And so it'll be Scott Barry now calling balls and strikes, and they'll go with the three-man umpire crew for the final three innings. So going over it with the other two umpires just making sure. Scott 
Barry looks like looks like a gamer, man. Let's go. Well, look, he sprinted upstairs. He, did. he got did. the gear on, and let me tell you, folks, that that gear is not as easy to to put on and saddle no, on. No, you, no, no. You're you're taking all your clothes off and then putting it back on. Yeah, you're essentially RoboCop yeah. in, in flesh. I mean, there is a lot going on, and let's let's also remember, Mr. Barry will now have the duty on the microphone. Yeah, he's got it. See right there on on the belt. So. That's a nice job by Scott Berry. And as soon as Marty Foster got hit that second time, Scott Berry, who was the second base umpire, he started running in immediately. Yeah, he wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna ask questions. No messing around. No, he was gonna make the decision. So, so shout out to Scott Berry. Yeah, and a, and a lot of credit to this crew here right now because there's other things that have to go on here. You're going from a big league rotation of a four man crew to now what you see in Triple A, a three man crew. So, as I said, rotations and responsibilities have changed just a touch, but these guys are on it.